Hey, J Rose popping back in here. Um, yeah, I'm finally getting around to uh, flipping this fan to blow outwards. Um, I've got the muffler wrap, like I said before. Uh, I noticed a big difference on that as far as containing the heat. Um, and then, as if you would have seen my recent uh, wood drilling episode, um, I noticed the fan by blowing in uh, created uh, 12 degree um, Celsius automatic increase in temp. So when this fan kicked on at 50 degrees, this automatically blew that heat in here and created more heat in the machine. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just simply switch these wires around to get that um, fan to blow that direction. Um, without a doubt, uh, I'm gonna replace this fan, but what I'm gonna do for video purposes, I'm gonna show you what this fan does um, as a stock fan once it's reversed. So I'll get that updated on there. So I'll run that for you guys. And then once I test that, because we already know this is not the greatest fan in the world, I'm gonna put a newer fan on here that blows significantly better. And I will do the test on that. And I'm not even gonna test bother it blowing back into the machine. I'm just gonna have it blow out the machine because I know once I reverse this, um, it's going to get cooler. So I'm gonna quickly show you uh, how to uh, turn this fan around, or not turn the fan around, to get it to blow the other direction simply by turning these wires. So let's get into it. And sorry if some of this stuff is relatively Drop one of the screws over here. All right. I had to buy another uh, wheeled cart because uh, I got too much crap once again. I need to get organized, so that's already full of junk. And then I got my cart over there. That's full of junk, so I had to get another one so I can actually have a cart that I'm using strictly just for um, doing maintenance. Just got too much crap again. Okay, here's where we're at right now. I just pulled this off. I wanted to inspect this. This all looks great. Um, I fired it up. Uh, obviously, it's blowing into the unit. So right here, basically what we have is we have the plug where, you know, this is positive, so on and so forth. So what I'm going to do after this adapter here, I splice, or I cut this rubber. I'm going to put this blue to the black after the module. And that should um, make the blade go the other direction. And what I'm going to use here... My brother swears by these, and I can't uh, say how nice these are. These are like the perfect splicing type thing here. You just, once you splice this and you get your thread, I'll walk you through that. Then you just heat this up, and it basically solders the stuff together. And I'll show you what that's like here after I get this cut and set up. But that's kind of what I'm using, and that's what I intend to do. So once you swip, swap these two lines over, it should blow the other direction. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this right in the middle. That way when I do the new fan, I'll have plenty of slack. That looks to be pretty skinny. It's about a, I'm just gonna go with 12 too so I don't take too much off of it. stripped up here yeah. don't know why 
I was doing that way over there on how it's connected. Okay, now it's just as simple as putting these together. And you want to make sure, obviously, you get your sleeves on first. I think I'm going to probably go with... My eyes are just starting to lick with the... So much glare in here. No, I'm going to go a little step later than that. Should have went with the blue right away. More than enough room. Might have to just take this crap off. Give myself some more space to work with. There we go. That's on there. Another one. That's on it. Okay. So if I remember right, what he was doing, I've never actually used my used these myself, but we were just doing his trailer stuff. He was uh, twisting these together. Maybe this is overkill, maybe it's not. But one thing about uh, my brother for the most part, he does not skimp on how to do any of this stuff that I have not really done. Okay. Oh yeah, of course, look at that. That's not right already. I need to switch up black to blue. Not that that's a major screw up right now, but if I'd have got any further, I'd have been kind of kind of defeating the whole purpose of what the heck I'm doing here. That's one thing about diving into some of this stuff. Some of this stuff just might seem overwhelming to a guy, but when you kind of just get a simple draw. Oh, Simple video makes it all seem doable to us, or at least to me anyway. I'm gonna get my fingers working here. See that's what that so that's what that solder ring in there is well oh, cripe sake. Not in a very good work station. What I need is I need a chair. Maybe I'll just edit some of this stuff out because I'm bab babbling too much. Oh look at that. All right, after my fat fingers were getting in the way. So basically, got that little solder head in there. That's gonna solder those two lines that I twisted together and I just folded it over on the inside. So this will basically join the solder with the lines and then these here will melt to the existing lines. So let's go ahead and heat these up. And you can see how it's shrinking up. And you don't want to be sitting there over melting it either, you know.
this is the good stuff right here. Usually you'd use one of those black things on there, but I'm just going to actually take this, use this existing black stuff, melt it around here. Then I'll probably just run some electric tape over the top. Grab some electrical tape. All right, I quickly uh, wrap that back up. Um, and the good part about those particular heat wrap um, connectors is they just don't allow moisture to get in there. And that's the ultimate downfall to uh, Okay. Well, this fan, as it sits right now, should blow at us. So I'll go quickly, uh, quickly turn the skid power on. Hopefully, nothing blows up. There we go. Simple as that. Just a quick splice there with those connectors. And like I was mentioning, um, like I was mentioning, I will be putting a better fan on here, but this is now gonna blow out. And that's all you have to do. Cut this line, flip it backwards. So that's your quick, cheap fix for getting it to blow out. I'll tell you what, this actually does blow out uh, really, really well. So I'll be doing some trial stuff on that. And uh, without a doubt, I'm gonna swap the fan over anyway. But yeah, please comment down below um, if you have anything to add or for anybody that hasn't done this yet. But I'm like I said, I'm trying to take my heating operation immediately, or not immediately, from stock. First thing I did, muffler wrap. Now I just reversed the fan. I kind of gave two indicators. Muffler wrap definitely contains the heat to the muffler getting it out of your machine. Uh, reversing this fan definitely should get this heat out of the machine so that's where we're at right now I'll be touching back uh, please like subscribe comment down below J bros out I was thinking after I cut that video out I should actually show you how it goes back together just in case I didn't get it very clear earlier so that way I got something to add it into if I need to. Um, yeah, so basically I'd already taken this off, spliced that in. We're just going to take and put these guys right back to where they belong. Where they were anyway. This was a 13 mil. That's what I'm using. It might be a little bit bigger, but just want to get them all kind of halfway to where they are started. Then okay, and then the only thing I did other than um. My line got a little bit shorter. I'm going to steal some slack from this end a little bit. Okay, this here um, was zip tied to this here. So I'm going to re-zip tie that back, but that's all you have to do. I don't even know if that seat clearance here. Let's see there. Uh, yeah, I probably should re-zip tie that. I'm going to re-zip tie probably about in this vicinity there. Just see how that goes up. 
That way we're not creating too much stretching going on. If this is better over here, let's check that spot. Actually, I kind of like it actually on that outside there a little bit better. I honestly think I might just leave this. Because I don't think that's even close to that heater down there. All right, I think I'm just going to leave that as is. But if you find like you got too much slack and you might be getting close to that muffler, maybe you do want to drop a zip tie on there. But anyway, that's just how it goes back on. And like I said, right now this will be blowing out.